Okay, before we move on to the um, video where we're going to get the, the saw spinning and get it actually working as a hazard, um, we've come to a point now where we've we've started to create our project. We've got some some um, some objects in there now, so it'd be a good time to save. So let's start off by saving the project. Um, so if you just go to File, Save Project, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, and we also need to save the scene as well. Now this this game is going to have multiple levels, so let's keep things things tidy. We're going to keep each each of our levels as a separate scene. So let's create a folder for the scenes. So let's just call it scenes. Okay, and in that folder, we're going to save our scene. So let's save scene as. We're going to save it in the scenes folder, and we're going to call it level level one. So there we go. So we've got level one in our scenes folder. So let's just make sure that everything's okay. So the game's working fine. We can run around. We've got our hazard working as a platform. And what I want to do as well is just close down Unity completely. Okay, so let's wait for it to close down. And I just want to make sure that it opens up. So if we go to our location, go into the assets folder, go into the scenes, double click on the, the scene file, so level1.unity, and hopefully it should load up as we expect it to. Okay, so here it comes. Okay, yep, so everything's fine. We've got a slight error down here, so if we just go to console, click on clear, that'll get rid of that, and then press play just to make sure everything's okay and everything's fine. Okay, so in the next tutorial, back to the saw, get the saw spinning, etc. Thanks for watching.